So one of the trickiest things about plaque is that it's tooth colored, you can't actually see it. So for our demonstration today, I'm going to be using something called disclosing solution. So if you come in to see us at the dentista and we do a checkup and a clean for you, then we use this disclosing solution as part of our airflow um, guided biofilm therapy cleaning technique, okay, as part of the protocol. So, I haven't brushed my teeth since last night. It is now about 1 p.m. of the following day. So let's see what the damage is. I have my disclosing here, okay? I'm just going to paint it on all the surfaces of my teeth and then I'll rinse it off. And what is left will be where the plaque is. So anywhere that shows purple after I rinse out is where there's plaque that we need to clean off. All right, so here we go. So you can see that I have quite a bit of purple down here, all right, and there's a little bit here in this tooth. I have a little divot or a notch in that tooth, which is um, a protected area for the plaque to hide out in. And I have some around those curves that I was talking about of my back teeth. Okay, so the reason I have quite a lot here is because these bottom front teeth were actually traumatized when I was a baby and when the enamel formed, it was all rough like this. So it's not a smooth surface. So if you have a similar case where you've had teeth that are not very smooth or if you've got teeth that have got fillings in them or crowns or anything, any any area where it's not completely smooth or where there's a join of a filling material or a crown to your tooth, that is like a nice little um, nook that the plaque can get caught in. Imagine it's similar to under your fingernail or in grout or any kind of seam, you know, always seems to get more dirty than a flat smooth surface. So now let's clean it all off. So you can brush along with me in real time. This toothbrush here is an Oral-B one. And this area here will actually light up red if I'm putting too much pressure. So that's a really good feedback. Okay, so here we go.
can. Let's have a look, see if there's any purple left. And you can see that all the purple that was around the little grooves in these front teeth is gone. And the same around that little notch. So you can see how effective the electric toothbrush is given if you hold it in the right spot for the sufficient amount of time and you do the correct movements. So you cover the whole tooth up and down and getting into the curves of those teeth and if you don't use too much pressure. So you could see at one, at one point um, the little red light went off and that was a good indication that I was pushing too hard, okay? So if you're one of those people where your toothbrush bristles splay out at 90 degrees after a couple of weeks of use, then that is way too much pressure, okay? The bad thing about that is that you can abrade your tooth structure, okay, and you can also abrade your gums, so um, wear them away. And when the bristle is on the side like this, it's not actually effective at cleaning the tooth surface. The effective part of the bristle is the tip. So if your bristles have gone sideways like this and you're brushing with the side, you're not actually doing a great job of cleaning, okay? So if that's the case, maybe you can uh, try out one of these electric toothbrushes that has the pressure sensor. Um, and yeah, as soon as you see the bristles start to splay out, ditch that brush, put a new one on. That concludes the first of our three part series on how to keep your teeth clean with the toothbrush. Hopefully you found that information useful and if you were um, doing those techniques already, great. If not, then try and implement them next time you brush your teeth. And we'll see you for the next two parts of the How to Keep Your Teeth Clean series. See you then.